I was in Afghanistan because um, I took part in a concert for the uh, Queen Elizabeth Hospital. And uh, there I met, um, you know, one of the organizers of the British Forces Foundation, Mark Can, who um, said to me, would I consider going to Afghanistan, visiting the troops, maybe doing a few concerts out there. And um, I don't know, I mean, to me, it seemed like the simplest and, and most obvious answer, which was a yes. This is the plane that we're going on, it's just behind me. It was quite an intense amount of traveling. It was 24 hours to get there because you have to sort of change planes and get into various different military planes. And we were obviously in the Helmand province. Then once we got to the main camp, we did travel by Chinook helicopter to four different camps each day. So every night we were staying in a different military camp. Um, the first place we went to was Shawcat. Here we go, there's the bed, not quite a tent, which is lovely. Got a little cabin type place, a few windows, guitar is ready, you know, cool. So I've just done the gig, this was the stage, and uh, this is the, the uh, where the audience was. The first time I got to know Afghanistan was through a book. Uh, an incredible novel called The Thousand Splendid Sons. And, uh, I mean, it was fiction, but it was, you know, set in Kabul, um, uh, about a family and just family life here. So, which, you know, and, and the way it was portrayed was pretty scary and horrible. Um, so, you know, I hope whatever's going on here, it will, um, it will really help all the Afghan people um, but in the meantime, it's just nice to be out here and, and entertaining the troops. Um, they seem to be enjoying it. I'm really having an amazing time. Okay, so this was my second night. Uh, this was now in another base camp. And this was, um, this was my tent where I slept. And uh, as you can see, it's, that's where the soldiers also slept. Last day in Afghanistan, one more show to go. And then we're flying back this evening, getting in tomorrow lunchtime into London. So for the, these Chinooks are so powerful, every time you land you have to kneel down, you have to sort of not face them and you have to have it behind you. you the show basically consisted of um, two comedians, Nick Page and Kane Brown, um, and then I would go on and do pretty much an acoustic set, just a few songs just my guitar. It was amazing because the PA system was a, basically a portable PA system that we had to kind of drag around from base to base and it was, you know, carried from, you know, in all the Chinook rides that we did. This is a hell of a tour. I mean, I've done some tours in my time, but uh, never quite like this. Halfway through, they gave me um, one of these helmets that I could talk to the pilots and uh, we had a bit of a laugh, we had a bit of a joke because they weren't able, to, these particular pilots weren't able to come to any of the gigs so they asked me to give them a little rendition through the headphones. I love doing unusual concerts and, and experiencing the most unusual things that life can throw to you. You know, and I, I was asked quite a few times as to why I was out there, what was I doing, what was the purpose of it was. And it was on the trip back when I was speaking to Mark, the BFF um, organizer, um, and he said, you know, and, and this might seem like a small, silly thing, but it wasn't to me because he said, you know, a lot of the troops out there, when they come back with everything that's gone on, it can be just such a hard thing just to have a basic conversation with your family, you know, with your partner. Um, and it was a real highlight when he said to me, the fact that you went out there, Katie, just means it's a conversation that they can have with their family that's that's a positive or you know that isn't something that they might struggle to talk about and and it's wonderful to be in that situation just a conversation i've had a real life changing and unforgettable week and you know i don't think i will um ever take for granted what the kind of life um i lead and and most people lead here in the uk